Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Nitro V16, ANV1641. To gain access to the internals, you have to undo 11 Phillips head screws. You can pop up the bottom panel by carefully raising it while holding firmly the two plastic exhausts on the rear. The plate should be fully popped to the level of the LAN connector. Don't push too hard because you can break the plate there. Then, use a thin plastic tool to pry the rest of the panel, including the front side. The other method is to lift the plate close to one of the top two corners to open a small gap. Pry and lift the back and work your way around the other sides. There are two metal plates with thermal pads for the SSDs on the inside of the bottom plate. This laptop has a 57 watt hour battery. To remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the two Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for seven hours and 33 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to apply the Best Power Efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu and select the Balanced and Optimus modes in the Acer Nitro Sense app. The RAM section is covered with a metal shroud that is held in place by a single Phillips head screw. You can pop the cap with a lever tool. We found two thermal pads on the inside of the metal plate for cooling the memory. According to Acer, the two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz memory in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 256 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. The memory sticks are additionally cooled by dedicated thermal pads placed on the motherboard below the modules. Storage-wise, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The thermal system looks good for such a laptop. It has two fans different in size and shape. We can spot one long heat pipe shared between the CPU and the GPU and one more for each chip. The cooling is complemented by four heat sinks. The top mounted ones are notably taller. The two metal plates over the processor and graphics card are also big. The larger one on the right is for the GPU and its VRMs and memory.